A United Nations climate report just released today warns we are running out of ways to adapt to climate change. The report says world leaders are not doing enough to combat climate change. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Shannon Verso. I'm Brian Dorman. Deborah Elferone has more on those findings and how the White House is responding. A dire warning from the world's leading climate scientists, adapt or suffer. There is a brief and rapidly closing window to secure a livable future on the planet. A new UN report finds the risks of climate change are growing, adding to ecological threats like wildfires, heat waves, and rising sea levels, displacing people from their homes and damaging their health. The report says countries have failed to rein in carbon emissions. This abdication of leadership is criminal. The world's biggest polluters are guilty of arson on our only home. The UN Secretary General says it's essential for world leaders to meet the goal of limiting global temperature rise by 1.5 degrees Celsius. President Biden entered the White House with the most ambitious climate agenda in U.S. history, but his signature package for it, Build Back Better, has stalled in Congress. And there could be another hurdle for the president. The Supreme Court heard an appeal Monday from 19 mostly Republican-led states and coal companies challenging the EPA's authority to limit carbon dioxide emissions from power plants. The EPA can now regulate in ways that cost billions of dollars, affect thousands of businesses, and are designed to address an issue with worldwide effect. This is major policymaking power under any definition. The outcome of the Supreme Court case could hamstring the Biden administration's efforts to fight climate change in the U.S. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, the White House.